Hey, happy Sunday. It's Mike Chen here in Manila, Philippines. And one reason I love coming to Asia so much is besides the local foods, they take buffets extremely seriously here. I've already been to a couple of amazing seafood buffets here, but there's one buffet I've always missed out on because it's only on Sundays. It's an all-you-can-eat steak Sunday brunch. And that's really exciting because you've got a combination of breakfast, lunch, steak, and all-you-can-eat. Let's go. I'm here at Yakumi at Solera Resort, and this is their Sunday Japanese steak. I missed the seafood part, steak and seafood brunch. And regardless if you're a seafood lover or a sushi lover or a meat lover, it's got pretty much everything. Steak cooked on a tip pine, chicken fish over the charcoal. It's got okonomiyaki stations, fresh tempura stations, and fresh sashimi sliced table side. This time I'm here, let's get serious right away. Let's start with the steak. I'm so excited about this. This everything's so pretty here. You look like a little origami crane to take home. I ordered a teppan steak, medium. That's coming. I got a bunch of charcoal grilled seafood and chicken items here. Some chicken liver, some bluefin tuna, and look at all this juice trapped inside. This is all cooked over a charcoal fire. And yeah, you can smell that right off the bat. Mm. I got a piece of salmon. It's more toasted because that's just what I like. Fatty, super juicy piece of grilled salmon. Subtly sweet glaze on the outside. All that juice and flavor trapped in by that charcoal fire. And normally I wouldn't be getting chicken because this buffet is a $50 buffet, so I want to get the best value for my money. But I just saw the chicken cooking on the fire, juice drizzling onto the charcoal. Couldn't resist. Mm. Anything that fire licked, I'll put in my mouth. This is really interesting. There's like chicken in it. There's chicken liver and a chicken heart. Same type of sauce, really great flame licked flavor. Now, if you're not into liver and innards, you probably won't like this, but fortunately, I love it. If you want something that's not as fatty, that's the salmon, that's the blue fin for you. It's just like a nice piece of steak from the sea. You're not gonna go wrong with any of the items from the grill. Every bite, you can taste the freshness, you can taste the quality, you can taste the fire. Oh, thank you. The only thing I don't love about what I'm seeing right now, you guys know, like what? It's, I mean, I don't know, like I don't really know what that's doing there. Each piece of steak, oh, that is tender. I'm just poking it a little bit, look how, easily it's giving away to just slight pressure from my chopstick. All that juice oozing out, dripping off the meat, and every piece is like that. This is gonna be my favorite piece. A little bit of fat, a little bit of lean, just like me. Oh my. I'm gonna lay claim to like every piece of steak in here today. This tastes just as tender as you think it does. Now, if you think this thing looked really tender and juicy while I was kind of playing with it with my chopstick, it's even more so. Pop this in your mouth, just a tsunami of juice and smoke. Because what they do with the steak is they sear the sides, so all that juice is just trapped in there with nowhere to go until you break it free from this fire-sealed barrier with your teeth. It's perfect on its own. But there are three sauces, I wanna try that. And let's do one thing. You, sir, definitely do not deserve to share the same plate as the beautiful steak. There's a spicy steak sauce, one with cream and sesame, and this is the ginger sauce. Mmm, I love that ginger sauce. When that juice gushes out from the steak, mixes with that ginger, it creates like almost just like beefy, gingery broth. Sesame. Well, that's interesting. It kind of tastes like dipping the beef into like a like a hot pot dipping sauce. It's creamier, it's thicker, it's heavier. It's good, but if you dip it too much in that sauce, you're not gonna be able to eat as much of the steak. 
And this is supposed to be the best one. Spicy, ooh. Oh, that's good. It's a spicy chili sauce. Mmm. We have a roasted pepper in here. That's so good. A little bit of ginger. A little bit of chili. I think that's the winner combination. I really like the hint of ginger in that first sauce. And of course, I love the heat from the spicy steak sauce. Combine that together, that's gonna give you a great Sunday. <laughs> and it's steak cooked to order, so I could just literally sit here and just have them keep bringing steak to me. But there's so much other stuff to try on this buffet. I saw some good pork belly up there. Let's go. And usually when you go to uh, restaurants, it's not real wasabi that's used. It's more horseradish, and this is real wasabi. You can see the color. Not as like alien blood green looking as the as the other stuff you typically see. Thank you. First of all, made myself a gyodong. I hate it when I do this, but I couldn't resist. Like I, I miss gyodongs in Japan. They had it here, so I had to make one for myself. Put a big piece of pork on top. Man, this is gonna take up some valuable real estate in my stomach, but can't resist. Had to do it. Oh yeah, the meat isn't as thinly sliced as the ones I had in Japan, but it's tasty. The juice that I put on the rice is extremely flavorful. And this, some people might get scared by this because it's just a massive piece of pork belly. And I'm telling you, once you acquire this taste, you'll realize it's the best. You always want some fat with your pork. Oh, that's a crispy katsu. A lot of my favorite Japanese dishes they have here, and they cook it really, really well. All right, I can't wait to try some of this fresh wasabi. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Fresh wasabi is not crazy spicy like the horseradish typically is, so you do get a really nice fresh spicy flavor without wrecking your sinuses way too much. And I love wasabi, so I add a lot of it. Mm, that makes a heck of a difference. Mm. After Japan, I fell in love with tuna. And this oh, is so fresh and light. The tuna, all the fish, they get in fresh every single day. Match that. Oh, oh what did I just eat? That was sashimi sitting on a deep fried nori. If you want to get your money's worth, focus on the seafood, focus on the steak, and get a ton of this fresh wasabi. Oh, that is so much better than that neon alien blood looking green stuff that you typically put on sushi. All right, more stuff. I'm a simple man. I see curry, I get curry. And these are some pickles just for the curry. Mango juice, a little sparkling water. Refreshing mango soda. There's so many dishes I just want to get today, like a gyodong and a yakisoba, because I really miss Japan. And this is all just like great Japanese comfort food. Mm. Oh, these pickles go so well with this luscious curry. It's probably not the most economic food to eat, but it's deeply satisfying. That's crazy. When you slurp these noodles, I kid you not, it's like inhaling charcoal flavored smoke. Chase that. A little bit of wasabi. And the soba, for sure need to add some fresh wasabi into that. Cold soba is very nostalgic for me because back when I was living in New York and I really had no money. I was working at a nonprofit. I wasn't making any money. And I would go to this Korean it's like a, like a restaurant slash grocery store. And they would sell these packs of cold sopa for like $2. And there's a massive amount of sopa with some dipping sauce. And I would eat that almost every single day. And it was so good. Of course, I didn't have the fresh wasabi. I had the neon green alien blood stuff. But still, that to me was a treat. So anytime now I'm eating cold dip sopa, I just feel really happy, you know? This is off the hook. Smoked duck with noodles. Everything here, from the meats to the seafood to little side dishes, 
It's just quality stuff. In this place I'm at, um, Solera Resort, I think this is the third place I'm filming in here. I just wanna say, these are not sponsored video. I've done my research and some of the best, most unique, all you can eat places are here in this resort. So if you're like me, I just stayed here for a couple nights and just kept on eating. Literally for the last three days. I mean, I don't gamble, so I've just been eating up to my room and sleeping, coming down here and eating, and then repeat the next day. Oh, also, just like at the other buffet, freshly fried tempura. Also, with this, get your wasabi involved again. A little wasabi, a little dipping sauce. Mm. You're gonna really like that. Also, this dessert bar, it's insane. Customized, freshly made ice cream. They make the ice cream when you order it. So they make the ice cream with uh, liquid nitrogen, fresh every time you water it. Are you sure you don't go to Hogwarts? No? no. She looks like a wizard, just is like making some kind of delicious potion. This might be the craziest dessert plate I've ever assembled in a buffet. Like, this is so unique look at this this is some kind of uh matcha cream ball i am like so curious as to what's inside this oh wow no wonder it looked like it was a space vessel this thing tastes out of this world so it's like a matcha soft shell on the outside cream and little like pieces of cake slash cookie tasting crumbles inside Mmm. With a creaminess of the matcha, a little crunch from the outer shell, a little bit of nuts inside, bites of tiny pieces of cake. Not only beautiful looking, incredibly delicious. Freshly made mochi. You gotta have this. Mmm. Oh, there's cream inside too. That was just a transformative experience. It was a honeydew cream inside the mochi and so floral and fragrant. It just tastes like a gentle, loving lullaby. This is really interesting. It's a pickled pear. Oh, this is incredible. It's a juicy pear with a little creamy, melty candy outer shell. This miso brownie I'm very excited about. Oh, that's good. Not only do you get that deep, rich chocolate flavor, which is already amazing. The miso just adds another layer of depth. Mm. Last but not least, sake lollipop. Sake and chocolate just mixes so well together. And this is like a super Saiyanized version of the sake Kit Kat. And when this dissolves in your mouth, it just leaves a sweet, subtle flavor of the sake. Not overwhelming, just right. I totally forgot about my ice cream. They're like melted. Oh. I feel like I need to pour more liquid nitrogen in here. This is the black sesame ice cream and it has whole pieces of black sesame in here. When you're eating the ice cream, you're literally chewing on the individual pieces of sesame and that aromatic sesame flavor is just bursting out of every single seed. You can definitely tell a difference between this and like an already made ice cream. The texture is smoother. You can tell the ingredients is fresher. Little sad is melted. It's still really, really good. All right, dessert round two. I'm feeling like I need something juicy, so get around a steak. This is probably my favorite thing here, the steak. Mmm. This is really a picture perfect Sunday for me. I'm sitting by the ocean at a delicious all you can eat steak and seafood buffet. Just stuffing my face with the juiciest pieces of meat. I mean, I don't know what a perfect Sunday for you is, but this is pretty much mine. And this is my last big meal before leaving the Philippines. And so I wanted to make sure it was a memorable one. Oh, well, as memorable as it gets. I really didn't have a lot of time in this country this time. 
I'm only here for a convention. So I basically had to stay in the middle of Manila. Didn't really get a chance to travel around, eat different local foods, but I absolutely love this country and for sure we'll be back. And if you guys are wondering, this buffet is about $50 for the whole buffet and unlimited drinks. So unlimited cocktails, wines, whatever you want, everything included. I mean, if you get a good steak at a good restaurant in New York, that's already gonna be $50, $60. So to me, not a bad deal. I don't think I've ever mentioned this before, but people keep telling me that they're not getting notifications when my videos publish. So make sure you're hitting that little, little bell button so you are getting the notifications whenever I publish a video. I would appreciate that all so much. Of course, information for this place is listed down below. So come try it out. You tell the herds, go walk along the ocean. Pretty darn good day. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.